If you've worked in corporate America or even at a smaller company, there is a 99% chance you've had to make an org chart at some point in your career. Whether you are presenting to a different department or onboarding a new team member, an org chart is a necessity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an org chart directly in Excel. Here on my screen, we have employees by department for our company, and our boss asks us to make an org chart for his presentation later today. Luckily, Excel has a built-in tool that allows us to create org charts in seconds, so we aren't stressed all morning about trying to DIY build an org chart before his presentation. First things first, we need to combine each of these departments into one employee list. Now it's really important to note that each department needs to be listed in hierarchy order. So for example, Justin Fever is the VP of Customer Service, so he is listed first, while Kiki and Kylie are both Customer Service Managers, so they are listed below with their subordinates underneath them. If the employees aren't listed in hierarchy order, we won't be able to create the org chart easily. So once we double check and make sure that all the departments are listed in hierarchy order, we can quickly combine them into one list using the toCall function. ToCall is a new array function that converts an array of data into one column. To use it, enter equals ToCall followed by an open parenthesis and select all of the employees across each department as the array argument. Next, we need to ignore all the blank cells in the array by setting the ignore argument equal to one. Last but not least, we need to stack the employees by column instead of by row. So we need to set the scan by column argument equal to true and then enter the function. Now that we have all employees in one list in hierarchy order by department, it's time to make the org chart. To create the org chart, copy the employee list by selecting it and pressing Control C, navigate to the Insert tab, and select SmartArt under the Illustrations group. Once the dialog box opens, select Hierarchy from the list on the left, and then choose the org chart graphic you want to use. I'm going to select the first option for simplicity and hit OK to insert it into our worksheet. Now we just need to enter the employees into the org chart by pasting the values we copied into the SmartArt window. So I'm going to delete out all of the text and press Control V to automatically insert our company's employees into the chart. The last step is to format the chart in hierarchy order. To do this, we just need to select the subordinates in the SmartArt window and hit Tab to move them onto a lower level in the org chart. For example, Dua Lupa is the CEO, so we need to select everyone underneath her and press tab to move them to the level below. Next, we can create branches for each department by selecting everyone under LeBron and pressing tab, everyone under Dwayne and pressing tab, everyone under Charlie and pressing tab, and so on. Now that each department has its own branch within the org chart, we can format each department. For example, Angelina is Leonardo's accounting manager, so we can select Leonardo and press tab to move him to the level below Angelina. Taylor is Bill's marketing manager, so we can select Bill and press tab. Lastly, we have the customer service team. As mentioned before, Kiki and Kylie are both managers, so I'm going to select each of their subordinates and press tab to complete the org chart. Thanks to Excel SmartArt tool, we were able to create our company's org chart in minutes and send it to our boss with plenty of time to spare before his presentation. If you like this video and want to learn even more, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to never miss a video.